Hey guys, Leroy from CMI High Tech here. Today, just doing a short video on the new Machina 2.6 software update. Let's get into it. Now, obviously you'll have noticed this lovely little Korg Volker key synths I have set up here. Um, this is a great segue into one of the biggest new features in the Machine 2.6 software update. Uh, this gives us the ability to be able to control MIDI CC messages coming out of the Machine hardware. The really nice thing about this is uh, you can just add your hardware environment to Machine's browser by saving the configured sounds or groups and then you can just load your hardware synths just like any other instrument or sample uh, right in the browser. It's also uh, possible to control the parameters directly from the machine jam hardware too. These sliders are amazing. And I have uh, built a library of templates for popular devices uh, which you can find on their website's download page. But if you can't find their your favorite synth, uh, don't stress, it's totally easy to build your own. So another pretty cool feature is that we're now able to access all of Machina Jam's snapshot features uh, directly on all of the Machina controllers. In the hardware display, look for the lock button. Pressing it once will save all of the current parameters in your project. Now you can experiment by tweaking parameters without losing any of your previous settings. By pressing the lock button once again, you're right back to where you started. The extended lock page is accessed by pressing shift plus lock. And this is where you're able to save up to 64 snapshots uh, and recall them by pressing the pads. Another cool feature is the ability to be able to morph between snapshots smoothly. Simply select the morph function and choose between the different transition speeds. Also new in Machina 2.6, NI have introduced the variation engine to all the 4x4 controllers. This helps to add variety and spontaneity to your workflow. On the Machina hardware, hold down Shift plus the Pattern button to bring up the randomizer mode on the displays. Edit some of the parameters and then hit Apply. Machine will create a new pattern with random note lengths, velocities, and note positions. Located next to the random button is the humanize mode. This is designed to give kind of a spontaneous human element. From a workflow perspective, this can be a really great starting point for new ideas. Some other welcome additions to this update for Machina Jam users is that we can now use Step Edit to edit parameters on individual notes via the Step Sequencer. Uh, this gives us access to tune, velocity, note length, uh, all via the Step Sequencer on Machina Jam. 
To extend note length, press control, then hold the note until you see it begin to flash. Push and hold the encoder, and then turn it from left to right. To edit individual velocities of the notes, press the level button, then turn the encoder. To transpose the notes, same again, but this time press tune, and then turn the encoder left to right, to scale up or down. Step modulation is the modulation of sounds within a pattern. It's now possible to modulate pretty much any parameter on the Machina Jam hardware in the step sequence. Uh, to modulate, select the parameter, then select your desired steps, uh, and then use the touch strips to change the parameter. To clear the modulation for a parameter, press clear and then the touch strip, or shift to clear all. Cool, so thanks heaps guys for checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe to CMI High Tech's YouTube page uh, and we'll see you next time.